We have one more division, the AFC West. And here's another division where maybe every team can make the playoffs, <laughs> except for the Raiders and your guy, Josh McDaniels. But maybe they will. Who knows? Uh, so here's how it looks big picture. Chiefs, no surprise. Odds on favorite to win the division, minus 165. Chargers, second choice at plus 340. Broncos, not that far behind. The Sean Payton effect, plus 550. And then the Raiders, plus 1,200. They're the last place team right now. So Chiefs again, favored to win. How many division titles have they won in a row now? Seven. Seven. So they're getting into, like, Patriots territory oh, it, when they went on that run. It's fully fledged into that territory. You're right. Won 14 games last year. Their over-under is 11 and a half. And as you might expect, people say, yeah, they're going to win that and more. 83% of the money is on the over. Minus 140 is paid out on the over. So if you think it's the over, you're not going to get as much money. But – you're confident that it could be the over. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to go over. Right. It seems like how right? does – unless there's an injury, which you could say the case, that for well, many Chris teams Jones out there. Chris Jones holds out for a while. That, oh, yeah. that that could be the other thing. But, yeah, you're but right. But even without Chris Jones, it seems like – Yeah, they could still make it happen. 12-win team. And, and work that out. Right. I, that, that's where I see it. Like, I don't know if I see 14-3 and three again. That, that, I, that was, you know, that was a special year. Right, you know the the AFC West. Then not only is their division better this year, they play the NFC North, which we know is going to be a little bit better, and the AFC East, which we talked about. We all four teams can go to the damn playoffs, right? But I do look at like, you know, they're the Chiefs. They're going to hit the ground running early on in the season. I do expect that. You know, they have some teams that I look at. Do I go? I think they're clearly better in that first half of the the schedule. Let alone, I think they're really damn good anyways. I'm going over, but yeah, I don't think it's going to be like slam dunk like it was last year. Again, I don't think we're going to have like two or three teams this year that are just going to separate from the rest of the whole conference, right? Last year, it was like, whoa, okay, Chiefs, Bengals, and Bills are in a different class than everybody else. I think this year, everybody's going to be in that class. The Chiefs, of course, being towards the top of it, but not like by so much that you know there's a month left in the season. We're like they got the number one seed locked up. That that not not at all. Chiefs are favored in every single game this season, so hmm. they could run the table if Vegas is right. Hmm. Uh, they were four games better than the second place team Chargers last year. Chargers are picked to be the second best team again this year. They won ten games last year, as I just said. Nine and a half is the over under this year for the Chargers, and ninety five percent of the money is on the over. Oof. What is going on here? Yeah, th- this is this is where this this is this is where you start to get you know in the brutal category of the AFC because you start to go wait, Bills, Jets, Dolphins have really good rosters, and you go whoa, Bengals and Ravens, man. They got really good rosters, and damn, but yet the Steelers and Browns are there, and they got a lot of good things too. And then, whoa, we know the Jaguars, hey, they're going to win the division there, and you start to run out of fingers, and you're like, holy shit, wait, seven are taken up because I've now i got the Chiefs, and what? how does this all shake out? And the Chargers are a team that has a top ten roster. But their early season schedule is very tough. That's That's the first thing I'll say. You know, uh, you know, we we the Dolphins, of course, is going to be tough. The Titans at Tennessee, and you're the Chargers and haven't been able to stop the run game. We've made fun of them the last few years, and of course, it's Mike Vrabel and and all of that too. I mean, not easy. Add the Vikings, ain't going to be easy. Even though I I know the Chargers are better than them, I do. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is one I. I mm-hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna go over. I'm sorry. I'm taking that away. I'm gonna go under here. Yeah. I'm gonna go nine and eight. I don't know why. I just feel I, there's just a part of me that. Gosh, I like their roster. I get it though. There's just something I don't trust about them. Is there? Am I wrong to say that? No, am I, I wrong to feel that? No. I, I don't know what it is. They're yeah. just, I guess it is, like Pete said in my ear, he goes, it's the Chargers mystique. And well, I, I think there's something to that that, you know, does make me be a little cautious. It almost feels like it's one of those situations, one of those teams where it's been building and building and they've been trying to get over the hump and then it might just not happen. I, right? Maybe, it might maybe, just not happen with this not. current. I mean, I, they got the I, talent I for it. But. I know. It seems like they got the talent for it. But there's just a, something about them that misses that we miss on a week-to-week basis, whether it's injuries or they mess up some situation or whatever. Mm-hmm. We've kind of seen it all through two years. Um, so, 
Yeah, I'm going to go under there. But, man, that might have been the hardest one to pick of all as, as I sit here through the yeah. whole AFC. That might be the one that I feel the less, the least confident about. You will not be putting your money on that one. You will not be making a bet I wouldn't on the want Chargers to. I would not, I would not want to do that. Will you be more confident about the Broncos? So they were a five-win team last year, but that was without Sean Payton. Yeah. And that was with a, a weird version of Russell Wilson. That's that right. We don't even know what happened there. So that version maybe is gone now with Sean Payton. Uh, eight and a half, though, is the over-under. So they, if you want the over, you got to think that they're going to win four more games than they did last year. 75% of the money is on the over, so in Sean, we trust. I, I trust him, too. I do. Um, and I look at, like, their first four games, and you look at it and go, other than the Dolphins week three, I mean, they're manageable there. Well, I, I, I think their roster better than the Raiders. I think it's better than the Bears. Mm, it's clo- yeah. And the Commanders is close, and they got them at home. And, you know, they got those first two at home. I think they're going to be definitely a better football team. There's no doubt about that, right? I think I'm going to take the under here, though, too. Oh. I think I'm going to go, uh, you know, I, again, I, I, it, this is like them and the Chargers. It's like yeah, it's eight wins. And, and, you know, they're at eight and a half. I, I think I look at it and go, yeah, I think they're eight and nine, nine and eight football team. And if I have to assess this whole thing in the AFC West, who has to play the AFC East, I guess I believe in the AFC East a little bit more than the AFC West in totality, and I'm leaning on them a little bit more here. So I'm going to go the Broncos with the under. Yeah, it could be one of those where they are better, maybe significantly better yeah. than they were last year, but the under is still the right pick. I, it, it could be. And then just with the way the schedule plays out, and again, you know, there, there's parts of the schedule, hey, where you get to week five there, it's Jets, Chiefs, Packers, Chiefs, Bills. Vikings, Browns, I mean, that's that's going to be for the Broncos and where they are as a football team. Yeah. That's going to be a very tough stretch, and I think will dictate a lot about what we're – or if we're talking about them in December. One more team, the Raiders, 6-11 and 11 last year. Six and a half is the over-under. The under is getting bet. It's minus 130. 73% of the money is on the under. Your guy, Josh McDaniels over there. Trying to build something with Jimmy G. I, they got a good old line. Josh Jacobs, if he comes back, we know he's awesome. But I like again, I look at that and go, he's not going to be totally himself. There's no way. There's just no way. And then defensively, is there enough there yet? Right. I think that's where I look at it, and I think I have to go under here. Oh no. I know. I don't. There are another one where I, I don't think like seven and ten or eight and nine is out out of the realm here, but I you know I think between the Jacobs thing, can Garoppolo stay healthy, and then I think more than anything, just other than the two pass rushers, and we haven't seen Tyree Wilson yet because he's still dealing with this foot thing. Their top ten draft pick out of Texas Tech. Mm. I just don't know if there's enough on defense. I can't say that I think their coaching, which I have so much respect for, you know that, can just overcome a roster that's still in the process of being turned over to what they want. So, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go under, but okay. that that's a, a tough one as well. It really is. Will McDaniel's call you out on that? Will he know that you picked the under? And no, you'll Josh, have to face he is the music. A, he is a not gonna. He doesn't listen to the critics. He doesn't <laughs> give a damn yeah. what I say or anything. And if he does, he's just gonna be like, "Well, I'll <laughs> prove Chris wrong." That that would be more of what Josh thinks. Well, here it is. We're done with the AFC. Yo, yo, thanks for watching, homies. I appreciate it. As always, the NFL season is right around the corner, so now it's your turn to hit subscribe to Chris Sims Unbutton. If you want to get all the training camp battles, preseason film review, playoff predictions, and much, much more, you know where to find it. It's right here, Chris Sims Unbutton. Please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Peace out, homies. See you soon.